Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the only carbohydrate that has the potential to lower your insulin. Can you guess it? Fiber. Yes, fiber is a carbohydrate and it's the only carbohydrate that can lower your insulin. How? The gut microbes in your large intestine eat fiber as their primary food, okay? You can't digest the fiber, so they take care of it for you and then they turn it into short chain fatty acids. They take the fiber and turn it into fat. So basically, if you're on a ketogenic plan, you're consuming a good amount of fat and you're also consuming fat through a via, through the fiber. So let's talk about how this carbohydrate can actually lower your insulin. Um, one of the short chain fatty acids is called butyric acid or butyrate. There's others, but this is the one that I'm gonna primarily focus on right here. And by the way, this fatty acid is also in butter. So butyric acid improves insulin resistance. It lessens the resistance to insulin, thereby lowering insulin. All right, number two, butyric acid is the primary energy source for your colon cells. All right, number three, it decreases inflammation. So if you have IBS or any type of inflammatory condition, it has the potential to do that as well. And that's why um, butyric acid from, for example, um, ghee, which is kind of like a filtered butter, uh, is really good for the colon and good for IBS and any type of inflammatory condition. Um, number four, it has the potential to decrease risk of colon cancer. All right, number five, it increases glutathione, which is a very, very potent antioxidant. All right, number six, it has neuroprotective properties not just for the brain, but for all the nerves in your gut, which you have quite a few. I recommend the fiber you get should be from vegetables. The vegetables will also provide a good amount of potassium and magnesium, which also will improve insulin resistance, okay? Now, a lot of times when we talk about vegetables, there's a lot of questions that come up uh, regarding bloating, anti-nutrients, and I'm gonna put a link down below of a video that I just released covering that in detail. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.